Alright, a wonderful good day and welcome back here to my channel, God Shadow. With Greek Control, I also have and add another part with um, Titan Breach, which I played in the Modern Challenge, not this weekend, but the weekend before. And a couple of people asked me about it, so I'll add that one as well. But here, um, I changed a little bit. Um, one color guns command less, one nimble more, and we're trying out Bone Crusher Giant today. Um, it's a little bit of interaction because most mostly I don't want to um, bounce stuff in the meta right now, and so Bone Crusher is just there to provide a little bit of additional value and also be a pretty big blocker slash attacker. That gives us at least four additional damage to uh, just coming down. All right. Um, Sideboard wise, I put in collective brutality again because I think the meta. So we have experienced the meta shifting towards big mana and very aggressive decks in order to combat all these Oko and Urza decks. So I think collective brutality is pretty good again. Um, Plague Engineer because the Oko decks, uh, especially the Urza decks, are partially dropping Oko again in order to play um, War of Invention and Thopta Foundry, etc., to just combo off faster than the big mana decks, uh, which also makes sense. And then Ashiok is there to fight big mana on the one hand and Graveyard Strategies on the other hand. And so that's that. So let's join a league here. Oops. Yeah, I've been crushing leagues. Uh, sorry. It was a long day. I've been crushing leagues with um, Titan Breach. Played like six leagues or something because they are so fast six leagues of titan is basically one league of Grixis. and i think i ended up five with a four one and one with three two so yeah no five oh though Always have one matchup where I just didn't get there. Come on, opponents. Chop, chop. Ugh. Great start to the video here. Yeah, I'm just gonna... No, I'm not gonna pause. Ah, finally. I would like to play first. We're gonna keep, although the hand's not great, we don't have any interaction, but... <clears throat> Our opponent's on a mulligan to five, so maybe he's gonna be a little slower here.
wasn't sure what else. Alright, it's still Drowsy Tron. Way too many Snapcaster mages here. I expect a Thornot here to come down here, otherwise you probably wouldn't have kept that. Never mind. Yeah, don't really care about a chalice. Because we instantly kill that one. So what happens, like worst case scenario is probably that we hit an Eldrazi temple off the top here. So I'm going to let this resolve, see if he does want something else. Uh, we could go after the Mind Stone, but I guess... Um, We're just going to kill this stuff here, since we still have a cryptic. All right, wastes. Fair enough. All right. So this is good because now we can actually go after his mana source and make him discard as well, but Cryptic of course by itself is just superior here. So don't need to do that really. Yeah. Bone Crusher Giant in this matchup is actually not too bad. Like, I'm gonna keep. Uh, I was gonna say, like, I didn't target the White Stone, right? But even better this way that we also got rid of a Mana Source there. <clears throat> And now I'm gonna try to get two damage out with that Bone Crusher Giant. It's not worth it to let the Walking Blues resolve there. Uh, we already have six, yeah. So that's not necessary. I'm just gonna counter draw. And then go to damage here. That is also great. All right, I think that's it for this game. <clears throat> Actually, Bone Crusher Giant really, really good against Walking Ballista. Oh no, just spell, not ability. Didn't know that actually. Next turn, I'm gonna attack with both Tar Pits and then we go lethal.
All right. So let's see. I want to have rejections. I want to have a Kalitos. I want to have Fulminator Mages. Although Fulminator Mage on the draw is somewhat weaker. So maybe we'll just go with a couple of ceremonious rejections here. And then if we're on the play for the third game, uh, we can go with... I think I'm actually going to keep this... Not great mana-wise, but we have a lot of action here and we're on the draw. He's probably going to keep things open, so I'm going to go with the Serum Visions here. And that is not good. Stone. I think I'm going to go after Reality Smasher. On the one hand, because he still has enough to play the other one there, um, but also. Uh, because of uh, Cavern of Souls potentially blocking our Ceremonious Rejection. Plus he could of course always have some stuff off the top. So land would be great. Thank you very much. Um, I think I'm actually going to go after the Mindstone here. Because that throws him back in terms of mana development, and he has also hmm. okay. Let's see if we take down, taken up would probably be correct here, but I can see why it would be taken down as well. All right, um, I would of course like to get the Jace down at some point, but currently I have to prioritize other things. Good thing is Drown already counters almost everything. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to counter that one as well, because that will otherwise just go after our Jace. So he's got coding and an unknown card in hand, right? Because we knew about all of that. Yeah, I think it's reasonable here to just go after that and now play Jace. <clears throat> Could of course also play J Snapcaster in order to thought seize him. Uh, thought not. No walking ballista. Which is not the worst. Just a one for one trade here. That's all right. Okay, so we're starting to go on the offense. Unless he hits natural Tron at some point. Um, 
gonna say he's not gonna be able to block or draw a lock, but that's done for now anyway. That's a pretty good one here. Without any pressure from our opponent on the board and only in liquid metal coating in hand. And an all the stars already being in the bin. <clears throat> and that's also not a bad one. Especially in the combination here. Um, because we could always be hitting... Blast Zone. Yeah, Blast Zone is also not going to work because of Nimble. I just love Nimble, man. I love it. Um, yeah, but this combination, oh well. Alright, drones, pretty good. But he does have a lot of mana, and now we can also block the drone. Depending on when he does his thing here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cycle. Counter that. And now he has four, six mana left. We got lethal on the battlefield. So that, all right. And this is not going to work as well because he doesn't have enough mana to sacrifice the scavenger grounds there. And that should, yeah, be GG. All right, good first game here against Eldrazi Tron. Off to the second round. All right, welcome back to round number two here. We're on the draw again. Let's skip that one. So I guess there's not going to be a main board. <clears throat> I was like, no main board. Um, Veil of Summer, and then I saw <laughs> Vines of Vast Vote, and I was like, hmm, close one. Alright, so there's going to be Ingmoth Nexus. If he doesn't find another land source, then he won't be able to pump it next turn. So I'm going to take the time here. We're probably not going to die this turn, and so I'm taking the time here to just get the Jace out. Ah. And that's going to be a scale up, I guess. Already found another land source there. That's, of course, unfortunate. So, best thing we could draw would probably be a nimble. I'm going to go with the polluted delta here in order to not raise suspicion by just. Uh,
So he does have vines and ground swell, but it will still cost him two cards here. Oh, he could also just go with a Pendle Haven, but then the. Yeah. But I wouldn't have done it this way, probably. Because now it's still open. Yeah, I think the play here is Colagon's Command, kill the Blighted Agent and make him discard. And then hope that he doesn't find a pump spell here so that we can actually kill the Ingmoth Nexus. And then next turn we have Cryptic Command up as well. All right, now we're kind of in the driver's seat here. And as I already said in the last video, I believe, um, Infect really has gotten very, very good here. Again, in modern. And I also think it's very well positioned in the meta right now. <laughs> so now he has to find another Ingmoth Nexus because you're pr probably not going to get any creatures down any time soon. Mm. Alright then. So let's see. <clears throat> Brutality is pretty alright. Plague Engineer is pretty good. Um, I actually like Bone, Bone Crusher Giant here as well. Probably just gonna get rid of all the cryptics here. There's definitely um, Oko, that is a problem potentially. But we also have Dread Boars, so we shall see if we can deal with that. Mm. The, band it's, uh, the hand itself is actually not too bad, but we've already kept a couple of risky hands and probably can't. Okay. Somewhat better. So the office pick here is going with and against Nimble, and I think I'm going to do that because we have a couple of removal spells here and also something for Oko. Interesting. So our opponent could of course have something like Veil of Summer that we have to consider here. So I'm not going to play the Thoughtseize here because I think it's somewhat weird. Either he has a turn 2 um, Blighted Agent or he's definitely um, keeping up the Veil of Summer. Because he's seen a Thoughtseize and Potentially that's good enough for him there. Okay. We 
can deal with that. But now I think I want to take a look at his hand first, right? Like killing the spell guide here. Yeah, I think this makes it a little bit easier. All right. There was no Veil of Summer, but there was a Blighted Agent that he then didn't play. And there's a Blossoming Defense as well. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I actually think that we have to go after... The blossoming defense here because otherwise you can also protect the spells guide and then things get really hairy nope and nope all right and this way next turn we have dread boar plus lightning bolt or drown in luck plus lightning bolt or So he's only got Drawn Swell there, so I think I'm just going to go with Kind of want to keep the Dread Ball back I'm gonna wait till he. Yeah, that I don't mind. But I want him to fetch here. Yeah. In order to lightning bolt it. And this might backfire, of course, if he does have uh, something else. Like a mother of gold. Cross up. Yeah, now I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. That was. Not great, of course. Yeah, that was my bad. Especially because the Pendlehaven would have made that play um, bad anyway, so... That was actually, on multiple fronts, just not well played. Too eager to do that there. But if we had tapped out for Colligan's command, then we would have been dead as well. The only play would have been to which we would not have died in that spot would have been to bolt him in my turn. But then we could have still died on his turn, so... I think the play pattern itself is pretty alright. I was just... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's keep O4 land. Otherwise, we really have a problem. And I'm actually not sure how many. Like, they certainly play a couple of copies of Veil of Summer. So, I should be playing around it to some degree at least. Um, can kill a Noble Hierarch, I guess. Scale up. So once upon a time, we'll find him something. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the Blighted Agent here. Then kill the Noble Hierarch when it comes down. 
and then hopefully find a third land in time to um, deal with the Ingmoth Nexus. Right, forest, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the sorcery speed spell here. Also, I haven't seen Noko yet, so I'm not sure. How important it actually is to keep that up. Alright, so Blossoming Defense is probably the best here. <clears throat> because Vines will just protect it unless he invests 2 mana. So now the question is, do we actually want to go with a lightning bolt here? I think so. Although of course it's risky, like he has to protect it right now and get rid of the vines. And then he has a breeding pool left and a scale up. But we really need to find the land here, right now. If we don't, then we really have a problem. And we have to bluff our way through the rest of the game here. wonder what he's thinking about here. This could mean that he has another blossoming defense or something like that. Would have surprised me if you let that die. Come on, land. I guess logic not is the third best thing after just hitting hitting the land and or. Yep, that's the breeding pool. <clears throat> Alright, so he definitely has more protection in hand there. Otherwise, I don't think that he would do this. No way! Motherfucker. Alright. Now we really have a problem. Should be drawing a land sometime soon. Oh god. Ah, oh, Moto. Fuck you, you little bitch. Just give me a fucking land, please, Moto. Please. I haven't even fetched anything, right? Oh, I fetched once. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> Interesting. Very, very interesting. Indeed. So we could just be playing the Nimble, but that would kind of take the surprise. So I'm just going to go after him. Again, of course, if he does have some sort of uh, Veil of Summer here, then it's pretty fucked, of course, but... Also, that was a 
show of weakness, like with the spells guide there in play. Right, yeah, yeah, he's looking for, for stuff to do. Okay. I think I'm just gonna shock here. Not because of the nimble, but because I could potentially go with a logic knot here. To prevent more blighted agents and such. Crush a giant. Yeah, I'll take that. Well, now I am interested in what he's up to here. Because he needs to have Distortion Strike as well. Alright, yeah, that's fine. And then we're just going to double block here, right? So Drip Ball is going to go, but then... I kind of want to have the Nimble back. Bone Crusher Giant by itself could also be pretty good though. So I guess we won't take 13 off of nothing. So we're going to return... Actually, we're returning Bone Crusher. Make him discard and then kill the Noble Hierarch. Ah, that's actually pretty cool. <clears throat> and now he has Oko. That is major unfortunate. But of course, with that thing one two three one two all right so this comes just in like that here that's okay mm -hmm. yep. all right <clears throat> Yeah, now our opponent, of course, needs to find a threat, and he also needs to find something to protect it, because he knows about our Jace, yeah, and that's going to be really difficult from here on out. Alright, it was a pretty tough game here, but I think um, the only card that actually would have killed us here is probably a Blighted Agent anyway. Because everything else we would have been able to deal with, although our next trolls here wouldn't have been great. <clears throat> Alright.
2-0 and off to this third round. All right, everyone, welcome back to round number three. I just laughed so hard. Still pretty in a good mood. And up until now, I kind of like the Bone Crusher Giant. It's not even that bad. Not even that bad. All right, I found an opponent for round number three. Hopefully we just get a good hand here for once. Almost mulliganed all of our hands up until now. Yeah, that's reasonable. We're we gonna keep. <clears throat> Well, I guess I'm going to use the Thorsies as long as I still hit something. What is this? Manalus Affinity? Well, Gavanic Blast. I think I'm going to take the Galvanic Blast here. Or am I? Oh, we're going down to 17. Take two off of this. And then... Well, he's stepping out this way at least. So that we can catch up. To a certain degree. I oh, know. Fuck it. Alright, yeah, I actually was hoping to find the Bone Crusher Giant here early on because it's pretty good interaction at this point. There is a land. So I'm just going to fetch for a basic mountain again. Of course, that's not great for any potential <clears throat> cryptic commands that we might be drawing down the line. But for right now, we still have enough stuff to do. And we even have a Snapcast image as well. And we also have to play around the Galvanic Blast that he still has in hand. So I'm kind of good with that. All right, down to nine. More blink moth, blink moth next eye. I think I'm just gonna get the Colgan's command out here. On the one hand, to get rid of whatever he's sandbagging there. Right, experimental frenzy was an important one. And now I think. I 
we kill the Thopter, we would turn off the Moxopal, of course. Uh, I don't think there's any need to get the Bone Crusher Giant right down right now. Could always be running into some sort of champion or stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, we're gonna kill that there. And then just play this tapped, kill that one. Now play the Bone Crusher Giant. Keep up the Lightning Bolts. Mm -hmm. All right, and now we start smushing. Now I think I'm just gonna go Snapcaster Mage, kill both things, and then go all in with our nine points of damage that we can deal here every turn. Yeah, that's not going to save your friend. Mm -hmm. Alright, I want to have a Kalitas nibble out. Logic not out. Ceremonious rejection in. Actually, Logic not might. Hmm, I have to think about that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the Logic Nods back in just because of the uh, Frenzy. Which could become a problem at some point. And that's also the reason why I keep the Cryptic Commands in for the most part. Because we need to be able to bounce it once it comes down. We can't handle the frenzy then. That will certainly outvalue us. Interesting to see an affinity deck here. Something that you don't usually see, and him playing against us here in round 3 means that he must have a good record as well. So let's hope for... couple of removal spells here in our opening hand. And we have removal spells, but pretty slow ones. I'm gonna keep and hope that our opponent does not have an insane turn one. Ah, oh, come on.
him not playing anything here with two mana already means that he probably has some sort of edge champion or something like that. Or he's just Govanic blasting us. Randomly. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we probably also won't be able to do anything about that. Like we have basically like if we don't draw a Can't sacrifice it right now, right? Feels like the last card in his hand is a Frenzy. I'm gonna put the Drone Loch to the bottom, I think. Uh, take the land. Our opponent had the absolute nuts here. So we need to get a thread down and now Yeah, all right. That's over. And that can happen of course. Opponent just had the nuts there. But I think overall, um, I'm good with the sideboard plan. Also, we have a blast zone, so we can, in theory, also uh, get rid of that champion if need be. My goodness. Third time in a row with a Mox Opal without a mulligan. <laughs> Motherfucker. Turn two experimental frenzy. That's when you know what's going on. Um, I'm almost inclined to go with the watery grave here because of Kalitas. So going after the signal pass here, potentially going after the ginger brood is actually better. But if he has another experimental frenzy, then we're fucked. <clears throat> 
All right. So only card I want to see right now is our friend. Plague Engineer. That's a food golem. The fuck is a food golem? So I guess... We could be countering this one. Yeah, I'm gonna let that resolve, just kill a signal pass here, and then next turn kill the other signal pass, and... Alright, taking four plus that, yep. This one's rather e easy. <clears throat> Moth next is actually a good hit because <clears throat> they can pump each other. Okay. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's how we want to play it here. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, 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 definitely. Um, but the Snapcaster Mage, I don't want to have. Bone Crusher is pretty good, though. Alright, so we need one turn without... And that's Champion here. That would be really unfortunate. All right, now we're taking over. We could, of course, also just bounce. Like, if he hits another Ingmoth Nexus, I think I might be just bouncing. Should be a rather safe play since our opponent can follow up with a net champion or something similar. <clears throat> and at this point, what's really the worst thing that can happen here? But it also doesn't harm us to just wait. No.
fine with that. Interesting addition that Ginger Brute. Additional threat that does stuff. Um, I'm gonna go and snap Drown the Law here instead of going with the Cryptic because I wanna maintain the ability to have two turns where I just tap draw. And this is a two turn clock, so things should not go south from here. Mm. Right, 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 right. So what happens if I go shock? Should be nothing in his deck that is uncomfortable and just kills us right away, right? Yeah, no. GG's opponent. Alright, 3-0, although our opponent had a couple of really, really good starts there. Let's see in round number 4. Alright, welcome back here to round number 4. In modern. We're already feeding the children, so... Good enough, but of course, we're trying to get this trade back to back 5 0 here. By the way, to the people from Europe, is anyone going to attend GP Brussels, which is going to be a Pioneer? <clears throat> and there, of course, I think are three modern PTQs as well. I'm still thinking about going there. I'm not quite sure. If I go, I probably only want to play the PTQs, but... Can't really say. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant serves as our interaction here. Since we're on the draw, we might be drawing into some more interaction. Man is good, and we're playing against Tron. Yeah. No turn one play here indicates either it's natural tron or our opponent is on a drazi tron. All right. Or oh, he's got natural tron and just found an expedition map. Yeah. Ah, it's still weird. Like, I don't think that you would... Yeah, right. That's what I thought. Because I don't think that you would normally keep a hand with... This assortment of mana. Right, dismember if he wants to dismember our bone crusher job. My goodness, why are we drawing so many lands here? <clears throat> 
And of course, with this amount of mana, our opponent could always just go Karn. What? He's playing Eldrazi and the Wormcall Engine main? Okay. I guess. Thornotsi is going to go after her. the Dread Boar, which of course is unfortunate. Yeah, opponent had an absolute insane draw here. Another one? Okay. Still surprising to a certain degree. Um, Alright, let's start by killing that one. And then I'm just going to go with a polluted delta here. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just going to counter this because we hardly can counter anything else here anyway. So just keep the Bone Crusher Giant alive for the time being. Our opponent took 6 damage out of that. Cracking. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to let that through because the Bone Crusher Giant needs to keep the Thought Nazi in check. Why are we drawing so many lands here? <clears throat> So I'm going to block the lifelink worm unless he has another. Then we're going down to 8. Opponents up to 20 again. Lance, 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 lance. At least our opponent's also drawing a couple of lands. Yeah, and at this point, I think I need to block here just because of a walking ballista. It's close to just killing us with that one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Could double block the Thought Nuts here and draw an additional card. He's a Serum Powder list. Hmm. Alright, by doing this, we get back into the game, but we also lose all of our threats. <clears throat> but 
but I don't think like we could try to raise, but that would only like if we had a yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, Moto doing Moto things again here. This is absolutely... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. Out of the tw first 21 cards in our deck. Uh-huh. Hey, command is pretty good. So let's see. I think I'm just gonna go and destroy and make him discard. Because I think there is enough two mana spells in our deck still. And a, like Bone Crusher Giant and Nimble Obstructions aren't as, yeah. Like if he had gotten down a corn here. My fucking god. <clears throat> This is so insane. All right. Finally, a snapcaster. Which probably means that he's got a good spell waiting for him as well. I think we have one, yeah. <clears throat> So return and discard, and I think we're gonna go with the Bone Crusher here. Because to get that, um, whoa, that was a good hit. <clears throat> Moto, you're really, really pissing me off. Now he's got something. The chalice on three. Well, I don't mind that as well. All right. Come on. We haven't drawn a single... <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so sad on both sides. Alright, there we go. There we go, people. I mean, we don't have anything to do with our Jays, but there we go. Um, yeah, at some point we'll probably have to bounce that chalice. Good thing is we're insulated against a walking ballista, which could kill us here, but this was just sad for both players. All right, um, gonna cut Inquisitions here. Ceremonious rejections come in. Um, Kalitas. Probably cutting ceremonies here. Bone Crusher Giant. I think it's better than the Plague Engineer since if we want to raise, yeah. I think 
on the draw I'm keeping it like this and then on the play I'm gonna bring in the fulminators <clears throat> Typically, Eldrazitron does not run Serum Powder just because, on the one hand, with Tron it's a little bit weird if you just throw away or exile Tron lands that you otherwise, like, that you can't draw anymore. And the, the deck is mostly consistent enough to... Uh, Oh yeah, I don't think that we can keep that. We're on the draw, we only have one. Now I'm gonna mulligan this. Keeping this. And getting rid of ice demons. LOL? Okay. Eldrazi with Leyline? Sure, I guess. If he does have a Leyline and Natural Tron again, I'm completely losing it here. A oh, Bone Crusher Giant can take care of Mary Shaper again. Sure, sure, what else? Fuck this program, man. Yeah, this is a reality smasher, I think we're done. Karn. It's probably gonna be a... Um, yeah, liquid metal coating. That's not a big problem, though. <clears throat> well, it kind of is, I guess. Because now, actually, we can't get out of this lock if we don't find a lightning bolt off the top or another bone crusher giant. Yeah, we're dead. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I guess now I'm bringing in the Fulminator Mages because I've got enough of that shit. I guess our opponent does not have a ley line in hand here and is thinking about it because of that. Dude, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I do not know what the fuck is happening here. Eight ley line sideboard. Sure, what else? 
and Tron again. This is just ridiculous. Um, Alright, Steamlands. And we're just throwing our lands here. This is just ridiculous. What the fuck is going on, man? Fuck this shit. Unreal. Well, Snapcaster, you're kind of a dead card here. All right. Two cryptics off the top and we win this. Otherwise, this is probably over. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. That's all, all he does is so bad. Fuck this shit. This <laughs> is so bad. Uh. Yeah, better lucky than good. All right. Shit, man. All right, we're jumping straight into round number five. Hopefully, that's not going to be such a meme show. And we're on the draw again. Yeah, it's a reasonable keep. Inquisition into Thoughtseize, Lightning Bolt. It's pretty alright. Unless mana dork, then we have to change things up. Oh no. Mm, 
where's the scape shift? Actually, yeah. Oh my god. Um, what I was gonna say is that things have really started going well for tight shift again. <clears throat> and this was a deck that was completely off the meta, like nobody was playing it, and now it has returned, partially by myself, of course. So I think there's a mountain left, might be something else. Yeah, sure. Alright Moto, you don't want us to do anything else here in this league apparently. And then that's fine. Just gonna go after it because ramping at this point is irrelevant and the more mountains he gets before a Valakut comes out. A few, uh, yeah, he's already... Um, the spread of his mountains all, also tells us that he's also playing Field of the Dead. Got to be kidding me, man. What the fuck is going on, Moto? This is not a normal distribution of cards. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, Mooncrusher Giant, not the greatest here. I guess we can also take out the Blast Zone. And then on the draw we could... ...potentially bring in Surgicals. I guess our opponent does have a couple of <clears throat> Bale of Summer. So hopefully our opponent pff, starts with a search for tomorrow, so that we can go turn 2, Jace, and then turn 3, Nimble. Counter the search for tomorrow. Okay, never mind. Once upon a time. And of course, makes it, yeah. You get instances like these where. Once upon a time just becomes. I mean, it's a good card, of course, but. I'm drawing lands again. Yeah, I'm gonna counter the trigger off of that, I think.
yeah, we're going to counter one turn here. If I had known that we're drawing another one, of course, I would have played the other one there. Once we get us down to 18, which is a straight kill with 7 lands and the escape shift. Also has another one, alright. So I think I'm going to shock here because I want to have the option of going with a Nimble and a Drone. I assume that our opponent does have a Veil of Summer here as well, and that he's playing so cautiously because of, because of that. <clears throat> So we could sag all three things in order to get one trigger onto our Jace, which would be alright with me. He's got five cards in his graveyard, so yeah, I'm still ditching this one. Shock this, <clears throat> because Titan's certainly going to calm down. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And if he does have a Veil of Summer as well, then... That's that. Motherfucker. I hate this card so fucking much. It's insane. Yeah, no, we're fucked. Last card in hand is probably gonna be...
could of course be a lightning bolt, but that's unlikely because he would have cast it before to get rid of the nimble. Probably escape shift. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Moto was great with you. Fuck it. <laughs>